This is National Volunteer Month, April, and so we're on the very last day. We wanted to end it with a bang. And this is the month that we celebrate across the nation, the volunteer spirit, and it is alive and well in this room. This evening, we're celebrating each and every one of you, 24 individuals and groups that do your service and make a positive impact here in the Valley, in the city of Phoenix, and across our state. And we know from going through this process that you do so much more than what you're being honored for today. So thank you very much. This event is our way of saying thank you for what you do and uh, making the city of Phoenix one of the friendliest cities in the nation. You're the cherry on the cake of customer service, which is pretty good here in the city. So thank you very much. And I want to thank the Public Works team for setting up this room and taking care of all of the logistics and parking. And if anyone has any questions at the end, we'll let you know about that. And I want to thank uh, Ashley for putting together an amazing uh, program. She put together the food and the catering and the designs with uh, Ash, with uh, Lenny and Talia, two of our AmeriCorps VISTA members that are walking around. So thank you all for really putting your passion in this. <laughs> so without further ado, we will start with the awards and each of you has your certificate. We wanted to make sure you had that for your photos, but we want to take a little bit of a, a, a moment to just talk about each of you and, and what you have accomplished and provided for the city of Phoenix. So our first is we'll start at the mayor's table and we have Taniqua Broughton and Taniqua was nominated by Gail Brown, our arts and culture director for the city of Phoenix. And as chair of the Phoenix Arts Commission, Taniqua has provided strong leadership in encouraging commissioners to become champions for development, promotion, and sustainability of our vibrant cultural and arts community. This year, Taniqua worked with her fellow commissioners to develop a diversity, equity, and inclusion plan for the city. So thank you, Taniqua, for ensuring that equity and inclusion are just a natural part of the arts here in Phoenix. And we have Andy Ab Abkarian with the uh, Doing Service in the Parks and Recreation Department, nominated by Cynthia Aguilar, Deputy um, Director of Parks. Andy is president of both the Roosevelt Action Alliance and the Friends of Hans Dog Park. So Andy keeps very busy. She's been instrumental in securing additional funds to enhance the dog park, as well as doing surveys and reaching out to the residents of Roosevelt's neighborhood to make sure that everyone has a place at the shaping of our parks. And that's really important to have citizen engagement. So thank you so much for that and for all you do. And one other with the mayor's office who's not able to be here today, Ram Kiran Krishna Kumar is with the streets department, um, was not able to attend tonight, but really wanted to, um, you know, show, share his passion for what he did complete at the city. And that was, he put together a bicycle collision summary for the department. And this was instrumental in ensuring that we have the data to provide the public safety in terms of bicycles. So he spent a semester doing that. He's a civil engineering student at Arizona State University. So we thank him for this. We're moving over to the vice mayor's office, Count, uh, Vice Mayor Thelda Williams. Our first is Benny Lalogia, and Benny is doing service with the Human Services Department Senior Center. And Benny's a volunteer instructor for the popular oil and acrylics painting class at the Buff Senior Center. And Benny is so enthusiastic for, uh, for what he does in terms of teaching people how to express themselves through art, that when Benny did have a health crisis recently, he made sure that the classes didn't stop. So with his treatments and ongoing treatments, he worked with the center to change the class schedule and ensure that the painting would continue. And the show did indeed go on. So, um, so thank you very much for what you do. And I know there was a big show for all of the um, painters and it was a real big success and, and the vice mayor did attend as well. So we heard it was a really great show. So thank you very much. And Grace Matecki is uh, with the Youth and Education Office. Grace is a site coordinator and volunteer tutor for the AARP Experience Matters uh, 
tutoring program. It's an award-winning program, and it's an improved reading intervention program. And what I've heard is that all of the, the students' scores are going up. It's just one direction when the tutors are involved. So thank you very much. Grace oversees 10 tutors and serves 32 students at Desert View Elementary School. Grace has volunteered with the program for three years, committing over 900 hours and counting. And this is just going to be realized in terms of impact for years and decades and lives to come. So thank you very much. Matthew Blair could not be here tonight, unfortunately wanted to make it, but something did come up. Um, he works with the Parks and Recreation Department. And uh, Matthew is a t-ball coach for ages four to six, and he dedicates his time. He wants no um, attention, no you know, even thank yous for what he does. It's a passion. And I know from talking with Inger Eriks and the director that this program simply would not exist without these volunteer coaches. And uh, he just keeps on coming. So because he didn't want attention, we shine the light on him anyway, and he will get his award. And now we'll move over to Councilman Jim Waring's office. The first is Eric Lemke and Kane Lozano with the Arizona Bronco Club, and they do their service through the Streets Transportation Department. And the Arizona Broncos Club is actually, I talked to the gentleman before the show, it's actually Broncos, like Ford Broncos. So, um, and they do their service on a stretch of highway, it's Carefree Highway, between 7th Avenue and 23rd Lane. And it's an area with a, you know, a lot of streets that are open, they get a lot of trash. Well, this is kept clean because of this group. So thank you so much for what you do. And uh, both members live and serve in District 2. And our next is Claude Goldner, and Claude does his service with the Phoenix Convention Center. Claude serves as an Arts Ambassador Usher with the Convention Center and serving at Symphony Hall and the Orpheum Theater. And since beginning his service in 2008, Claude has donated over 1,200 hours, and that amounts to about $30,000 to an arts organization or several arts organizations. It's really priceless for these organizations and making the arts accessible to all. Uh, Claude has also volunteered with the World Health Organization's commission that monitors the abuse of children around the world, including labor exploitation and human trafficking. So it's something that's really important here at the City of Phoenix, so we really appreciate all that you do. And now I will bring up Ashley, and Ashley will be um, announcing a couple of our other winners. Thank you all for being here tonight. So I'm going to start with um, District 3 Councilwoman Deborah Stark's office. Um, woo! <laughs> Excellent. All right. So um, the first volunteer being awarded is Marge Graver from our Youth and Education office. So as a site coordinator for the AARP Experience Corps Phoenix tutoring, tutoring Program, Marge oversees 10 tutors that serve 50 students at the Heard Elementary School in Phoenix Elementary School District. And Marge has volunteered and contributed more than 1,800 hours serving just in the past four years. <laughs> She's like, wow, I didn't even know. <laughs> Surprising. <laughs> um, in addition to uh, volunteering with the Youth and Education Office, she also participates in Heard's Big Brothers Big Sisters program. And so I guess it's safe to say that she's an official member of the Heard family. So and Marge lives in District 3, so I want to say thank you so much for your dedicated work. Our second uh, awardee in District 3 is Joe Van Lu from the Aviation Department with the Navigators Program. So Joe serves over two, uh, serves two four-hour shifts a week at Phoenix Sky Harbor, amounting to more than 3,700 hours over the past 13 years. When I first noticed there were people at the airport wearing purple jackets, and purple was my favorite color. You can never miss her. She has purple hair, purple shoes, purple shirt. She really sticks out, so you know she gets a lot of compliments, which is why she's here today. I took the training and became a navigator, and I absolutely love it. I love the days that I come to the airport. It's just, I think one of the reasons I, I like it so much is every time I'm here, I learn something new. She also is bilingual in Spanish, so she serves a critical role for all of the visitors that we get here that um, are limited in their English. There are some people that are just afraid of travel. They haven't done it before, and I feel like just a friendly 
smile or reassurance, yes, you're going the right direction, yes, this is the right thing to do, just kind of relieves that tension in some of them. All the time people have said, oh, thank you so much, I just was a little bit lost and you helped um, me out. I had a chance to interview Jo before today and I did ask her, you know, um, were you excited when you found out you received the Impact Volunteer Award? And she said, yes, I was very excited, but you know, I would do this work anyway. So I've even been called an angel, you know. But, I mean, who else gets to do that on their job? I think that's a, a critical note for all the volunteers here today is that um, you do what you do because you love it and not because you're expecting, um, you know, the, uh, the recognition. So I want to say thank you so much. So now for District 4, Councilwoman Laura Pastor's office. Um, We're going to start with Mary Harrison, uh, another site coordinator for the volunteer um, AARP Experience Corps Phoenix Tutoring Program. So Mary is a site coordinator um, that oversees 12 tutors and they'd serve 48 students at Loma Linda Elementary School. And under Mary's direction and with the support and commitment of all the tutors, Loma Linda participants um, have shown tremendous gains over the past few months in all their reading assessments. And Mary has committed over 900 hours serving just in the past three school years. And in addition to volunteering with um, Experience Corps Phoenix, Mary has recently ob obtained her master's uh, degree in spiritual studies at the age of 83, which is uh, such an accomplishment. Um, and Mary serves in District 4. So thank you so much. And now to Michelle Hill and Karen McCall from the Crochet Circle of Friends Human Services Department. So the Crochet Circle of Friends is a group of 11 senior members who have created this program eight years ago. And then in 2017, the volunteers completed over 5,000 hours and donated over 400 crochet lap blankets to veterans at Carl T. Hayden VA Medical Center, um, delivering compassion six times per year. And um, the Crochet Circle of Friends also positively impacts many of our senior members, offering support through life's challenges, including uh, members suffering from depression by offering a space um, to feel valued and supported. So um, Michelle and Carol both live in District 4, and um, I want to say thank you all again. So our next, we will move over to Councilman Daniel Valenzuela's office at District 5. Linda Lollier is a uh, volunteer tutor with the Office of Youth and Education and is a site coordinator with the AARP Experience Corps uh, Phoenix Tutoring Program. Linda oversees four tutors that serve 25 students at Desert Oasis Elementary School in the Tolleson Elementary School District. She's established an efficient site and uh, one raves from all of the administration at the school. So a real positive bright light over there. And during the, her years of service, she's committed about 1300 hours so far. So, um, and that's just beginning. Linda has committed to another year uh, for the 2018-19 program. So thank you very much. And our next awardees are Joanne Woodfill and Jean Sellards with the ACE program. And ACE stands for Accessibility Compliance Enforcement. And what that is is those are the volunteers that go around and make sure that the spaces for folks that have accessibility issues are there for them to use. So thank you. This is a critical issue, especially in times when it starts to get really heat, but all year round. This is a program that never ends. It's seven days a week. The group has uh, issued about 13, uh, 1,013 tickets, and a lot of that is education. It's really a, a force to educate folks on the importance. So, um, and the program for about 15 years, this group has, has dedicated, again, working round the clock and dedicated countless hours to this program. And um, this would not be possible without volunteers. So thank you very much. And now I will call up Talia. Talia will be giving the next nominees for uh, the District 6 office. So first we have Colby Taylor. I had the pleasure of getting to work with Colby. His work was revitalizing the Sydney P. Osborne Community Garden in a City of Phoenix public housing complex. With this work, he worked with the Housing Department, Love Your Block, and Neighborhood Services. Colby fundraised for the garden as well as built all the raised beds and worked with his fellow scouts to achieve his Eagle Scout status. Colby, you're an exceptional young man, always respectful, and it was great to work with you and your family. Thank you for all you did. 
Next we have Vivia Strang and Mark Lamb and their guest with the Pioneers Cemetery Association. This is a nonprofit operator with the City of Phoenix Parks and Recs Department. <laughs> they work together. They work together to conserve and protect the historic physical remains, grave markers, artifacts, and buildings of the Pioneer and Military Memorial Park. Together, they provide a safe place and accessible community resource for present, fu present and future generations. They work with the Parks and Rec Department, Phoenix Revitalization Corporation, ASU Recreation Management, and Eagle Scouts to tirelessly improve and beautify Cemetery Lindo in the Smurthwaite House. Thank you for all your time and all that you do. Unfortunately, Sherry Alsep, the navigator, is not able to attend. She works at the City of Phoenix Airport as a navigator for the past seven years. Her and her husband, Dennis Red Alsep, served together over 3,000 hours. While he was sick and she was caring for him, she continued to serve to ensure to do her part that the Sky Harbor Airport is America's friendliest airport. She lives in District 6 and she is unable to make it today because she is on a vacation with her son in Amsterdam, which is a commitment she made to travel more with her son after her husband passed. So we're very grateful for all her work and commitment to the city. And I just want to mention Talia is also a volunteer. She's an AmeriCorps VISTA member serving a year of service here at the city of Phoenix and uh, dedicating her time above 40 hours a week, a lot of times 50 hours a week to uh, low-income communities to build capacity. So thank you, Talia. And now we'll move over to Councilman Michael Nowakowski's table. And this is a group of volunteers that uh, every, every district is, is special. You'll see that as we've gone through this, that people are doing a lot of great things in terms of volunteering, all the way to crocheting to actually helping preserve, make sure that uh, accessible parking spaces are available. So anything you can imagine, there's an opportunity. We have uh, Lucille Levy, and Lucille is really special um, to us here at the city. Lucille is 94 years young and proud of it. Lucille, you are amazing and you're inspirational. Miss Lucille Levy is a young 94-year-old volunteer who has a green thumb. Oh, I love girls. She tends to the South Mountain Senior Center garden on a daily basis. She has a shy disposition as she smiles and shrugs her shoulder. Oh, I love it. I raised them. I'm from Arkansas. I raised them. Um, yeah, I know all about it. Is that how you do this? You just snip it at the very end? Yeah, I don't know. I never cook. They, okay, then this this is basil or what is this? Let's smell this. What is this? Rosemary? Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. This is basil. This is good for pizza. Do you uh, like pizza? Oh yeah, oh, I love pizza. Who doesn't pizza. love pizza? Miss Lucille is meticulous about each plant, cutting, smelling, and arranging each herb, strawberry, and even a sunflower in her basket. The fruits of her labor are part of the daily meal plan for her fellow seniors. She worked as a housekeeper for many years and met some very famous people. Oh, man, I met so many. I met Bob Hope, Danny Thomas. Aretha Franklin. Yeah, and uh, Dion Moore. Yeah, I worked for Howard Hughes, and he was a very nice guy. I retired when I was 62. Yeah, you know you can retire when you get 62, so I, I was tired, you know, I thought I was. I wished I'd have kept on working. So instead of working, she started volunteering. She not only works in the garden, she also distributes milk during lunch to her friends at the senior center. What I like about the way people treat me, you know, and I treat them the same way. I love it. Thank you, Lucille. No, I'm doing one. I don't, I don't have no pains or nothing. That's why I wonder why. But God knows. He knows why. Miss Lucille is a sweetheart, and she will forever be young. You know, because she said I'm too, getting too old now, you know. 
work, but I don't think I am. Happy birthday, Miss Lucille. She turns 95 years old on June 15th, 2018. Thank you, um, Lucille, for really raising the bar for all of us. And the next is the uh, Montserrat Arandando family, and this is in honor of um, Adrian Arandando. And the, the family gets together and takes care of a street, a stretch of street um, that's really important to the family. And it's great to see that a lot of times 25 members will show up and do service, and up to 200 hours annually. Um, which is amazing and that the dedication and also teaming up with other groups to help other groups do cleanups is really inspirational <clears throat> and that's it can be really be felt here tonight so thank you very much and our next awardees will be presented by Lenny Lenny come on up Lenny's also an AmeriCorps Vista like Talia doing a year of service so thank you Lenny <laughs> So I have the distinct pleasure to present the awards on behalf of uh, District 8, Councilwoman Kate Gallego. Uh, Vivek, the first awardee, volunteered with the Streets Department. He was in the Safety and Neighborhood Traffic Division. Unfortunately, he was unable to attend. But currently, Vic Vivek is pursuing a Master's in Science uh, in Civil, Environmental, and Sustainable Engineering at the Arizona State University. He was very important in creating the pedestrian collision summary in order to keep our citizens safe here in the city of Phoenix. So I give a little round of applause on behalf of Vivek. And the second awardee is none other than Lyle Plotcher and Kristen Ankoviak of the Central Park neighborhood. Um, I'm pleased to be presenting this award to them. I know them personally. Uh, it has been a, an honor to work with them. They're both extremely passionate about um, equity and greening South Downtown. They recently collaborated with the city's Love Your Block and Resilient program. Uh, they were planting uh, approximately 35 trees and 90 desert adapted plants. Uh, and this is a very important work. As you know, it's quite hot in Phoenix, so anything we can do to mitigate the heat is uh, extremely appreciated and valuable. So um, anyway, I, I'm humbled to know you and thank you for the, all the work you've done in South Downtown. You know, everyone at the city knows Diane. She is just energetic and always out there um, at council meetings and also out in the community and making things happen and making sure that people are um, fit through the Fit Phoenix program. So uh, Diane has been with the Fit Phoenix program from the very beginning, 2013, and encouraging folks to come out on Mondays and walk around downtown and energize our city, and it really worked. And uh, Diane also supported the launch of the new Walk Phoenix program in the Parks Department. And she continuously volunteers and builds partnerships with local businesses in downtown to promote health and wellness. And when she's not engaged in Fit Phoenix and not too tired, she is a navigator at Phoenix Sky Harbor. And I believe you've been doing this about a year, Diane. And we get uh, people say that you're friendly and just welcoming people to the city. So thank you so much. Chaplain Robert Fezmir is chaplain with Phoenix Police Department, donating more than 2,000 hours responding to officer-involved shootings along with other police situations. And he also helps out with officers who have been injured in the line of duty and officers just going through any type of personal or professional uh, issues where they need some support and maybe just an ear to listen to. So um, those who work with the chaplain talk about his giving heart and tireless compassion for our city's first responders. So thank you very much, Chaplain. And it's unfortunate she could not be here tonight. She travels the world when she's not volunteering and she is just energetic beyond energetic. Her name is Marcy Kolpas and Marcy worked for the city for more than 30 years in the public information office. During that time, a lot of people don't know because she was quiet about it, she was doing volunteer work all along. The day she stopped working at the city, she started volunteering for arts and culture in a capacity doing marketing and PR and continued that for several years. She now continues to work in the arts and culture gallery and she currently volunteers with hospice 
of the Valley, and also volunteers for Duet, a nonprofit that provides support for older residents in need of assistance. And that's a partner with the city as well. And she volunteers for Chinese Week in February and Phoenix Sister Cities, and she just continues to go, go, go. And if you're ever in the gallery, which I suggest you visit, say hi to Marcy when she's in at least a couple times a month. So um, that is the end of our awards program. And we thank you again for coming out and uh, thank you for all that you do and uh, continue volunteering. Visit phoenix.gov volunteer and tell your friends about it. Thank you.